Hi, I'm Ashton Auger with Remax Professionals and the Jennifer Queen team. Today, we are in the family-friendly neighborhood of River Park South. Fun fact, River Park South is the largest Qualico development in the city to date. It is made up of over 8,000 homes and businesses. River Park South is a newer family-oriented development located in the southeast corner of Winnipeg and is bordered by St. Mary's Road to the west, Nova Vista Drive to the north, St. Anne's Road to the east, and South Perimeter to the south. River Park South is a suburb community and is located 15 kilometers away from the Winnipeg International Airport and roughly 12 kilometers away from Winnipeg's downtown core. The neighborhood is tucked away from all the hustle and bustle of central Winnipeg and is the perfect sanctuary for taking your mind off work and focusing on what really matters. The neighborhood of River Park South, in my opinion, could be classified as a suburb of the neighborhood of St. Vitale. Its development started in the early 1970s and just recently was completed this past year. You'll find a lot of homes with front drive access, although there are the odd back lanes found in this neighborhood. If condo living is more your style, near the Red River and the Seine River, you will find a bunch of large condo complexes where you'll find a lot of the retirees from this neighborhood. There are no hospitals in the neighborhood of River Park South, with the closest hospital being the Victoria General Hospital at just an 11 minute drive away. River Park South is a family oriented neighborhood with over 64% of households containing at least one child. The average household income according to the 2016 Winnipeg Census is $104,000 annually. The average single family detached home sold in 2020 in River Park South for roughly $400,000 and has risen to $445,000 in 2021. If you are looking for the ideal neighborhood to raise a family, look no further. The neighborhood of River Park South is in the Louis Riel School Division and is highly desirable to those who have children as it is home to nine schools, which offers programs in English, French, and French immersion. There are two elementary French immersion schools in the neighborhood, both that offer programs in French immersion only to kids from kindergarten to grade five, École Julie Riel and École Saint-Germain. Students who are in French immersion programs from kindergarten to grade five will go to middle school at École George McDowell for grades six to eight before moving over to Collège Jean Sauvé for high school. If you are looking for an English-only program, there are three elementary schools that offer programs in English only to kids from kindergarten to grade eight, as there is no middle school in the area for English-only students. Highbury School, Samuel Burland School, and H.S. Paul School. After elementary school, students who have done their schooling in English will go to high school outside of the area of River Park South to either Dakota Collegiate or Glenlawn Collegiate, both which are in close proximity to the area. There is an ever-increasing French population residing in the area of River Park South. These students, where French is their first language, will attend École Christine L'Espérance, an elementary school that offers programs from kindergarten to grade eight in French only. These students will continue their education from grade nine to 12 at the other high school found in River Park South, saint scolaire leo Remiard. These two schools are not part of the Louis Riel School Division, but part of the French School Division, DFSM. River Park South is also in close proximity to the University of Manitoba at only roughly a 15 minute drive away. Even though River Park South is a suburb community, 
You don't need to go far to find every amenity you could possibly need. The neighborhood was thoughtfully crafted with a centrally located community center at its core. The Dakota Community Center, which is one of the largest community centers in all of Winnipeg, is made up of the Jonathan Taves Sportsplex, where you will find two indoor rinks, the newly built Dakota Fieldhouse, which is home to a 200 meter three lane indoor track, as well as multi-purpose court space that offers recreational programs to residents of all ages. And the Jump Start Outdoor Community Rink and Beach Volleyball Facility. Next door to the community center, you will find a 13,000 square foot Louis Riel Library, as well as the Dakota Spray Park, which is the perfect place for families on hot summer days. River Park South is located just steps away from the St. Patel Center. This shopping mall offers over 160 premium shops and services, including Walmart, the Bay, London Drugs, Home Sense, Marshalls, and Chapters. It is also home to Silver City St. Patel Cinema and many family-friendly restaurants. There are also plenty of strip malls scattered throughout the neighborhood. These include the South Glen Shopping Center that is home to a No Frills, Shoppers Drug Mart, Bulk Barn and Starbucks, and River Park Village where you'll find a newly renovated Sobeys and a few other shops and restaurants. If you're looking for outdoor activities, there are ample walking and biking paths throughout the neighborhood. River Park South borders on the Seine River to the east, which features beautiful walking paths along the Seine River Greenway Trail, or Bois des Esprits Trail, that is shared by the residents of Royalwood as well. On the west border is the Red River, and on its banks you can find the beautiful Hentaliff Park, which is technically found in the neighboring area of Norman Park, but is used mostly by the residents of River Park South. There is over 150 acres of parkland throughout River Park South making this once again an ideal family neighborhood. Why I love this area, apart from the fact that I grew up here, is its community feel. It also has a ton of walking paths and it has every accommodation you need, including its own mall. Um, I like it because there's a lot of um, walking paths uh, close by our house so we like to do a lot of walking uh, I also like it because there's a lot of schools in the neighborhood so we see a lot of children around I like seeing children around I'm a teacher and uh, we have everything we need here I mean there's stores that we where we can get our groceries and uh, and uh, lots of uh, nice little restaurants so yeah it's a nice neighborhood well, this neighborhood is good because it's, it's, it's nice and calm and uh, everybody gets along and I live in a senior's home and everybody's fine there. And uh, what, are, what, are, what else can we expect from a good life? Um, I like this neighborhood because it's really quiet um, and there's a lot of, it's very safe uh, all around. As well as we have a great Facebook uh, chat so everyone can stay informed. And I think all around it's just a very homely neighborhood, so that's why I like it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video today. If there's a neighborhood you want to see featured, please put it in the comments below. If you're liking what you're seeing and you want to see more of what our team has to offer, please hit subscribe. Thank you so much.